Every breath we take, every step we make can be filled with peace, joy, and serenity. Did you know that, on average, our minds wander 47% of the time? This means that nearly half of our waking hours are spent lost in thought, disconnected from the present. We often drift into thoughts about the past, reminiscing about what was or worries about the future, contemplating what might be. This mental time travel can be exhausting. Today we dive into the renowned Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh, Peace is Every Step. This non-fiction self-help psychology Buddhism masterpiece offers a path to inner tranquility through his teachings on mindfulness. His wisdom provides a beacon of hope for those seeking calm. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries, bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. The constant mental chatter can prevent us from fully experiencing the present moment. It creates a barrier between us and the richness of life happening right now. In a world filled with distractions, finding peace can seem like an elusive goal. The noise of daily life can drown out the simple joys that are right in front of us. Peace is Every Step emphasizes the importance of being fully present in each moment. It teaches us that mindfulness is not just a practice but a way of life. Han argues that peace is not a distant destination but rather a state of being that we can access right now. It's about finding serenity in the here and now, regardless of external circumstances. By cultivating mindfulness, we can transform our daily activities into opportunities for greater awareness and peace. Simple acts like sipping tea or practicing yoga can become profound experiences. Throughout the book, Han provides practical guidance and insightful anecdotes to help readers integrate mindfulness into their lives. His teachings remind us that the present moment is a gift waiting to be unwrapped. Han reminds us that peace is present right here and now, in ourselves and in everything we do. It is not something we need to chase or find in distant places. It is already here, waiting for us to recognize it. He emphasizes that we don't need to search for peace in external circumstances or material possessions. Often we look for peace in the wrong places, thinking that acquiring more will bring us happiness. Instead, true peace can be found within ourselves, in the present moment. It is about being fully present and aware of the here and now, without being distracted by the past or the future. By learning to quiet our minds and connect with our inner selves, we can tap into this boundless source of peace. This connection allows us to experience a profound sense of tranquility and contentment. One of the key messages of the book is that our thoughts and emotions are like waves on the surface of the ocean. They come and go, sometimes calm, sometimes turbulent. Just as the ocean remains vast and deep beneath the waves, our true nature is peaceful and serene, even amidst the storms of life. This depth is always there, providing a stable foundation. By practicing mindfulness, we can learn to observe our thoughts and feelings without being swept away by them, finding a sense of calm and stability within. Mindfulness helps us to stay grounded and centered, no matter what challenges we face. Han teaches that the breath is our anchor to the present moment. He writes, feelings come and go like clouds in a summer sky. Conscious breathing is my anchor. By focusing on our breath, we can bring our attention back to the here and now, letting go of rumination about the past or anxieties about the future. Mindful breathing is a simple yet powerful practice that can be done anytime, anywhere. When we find ourselves feeling overwhelmed or stressed, we can simply pause, take a few deep breaths, and notice the sensation of the breath entering and leaving our bodies. This practice can help us to calm our nervous system, reduce stress, and cultivate a sense of inner peace. Peace is every step encourages us to bring mindfulness to all aspects of our lives. Han suggests that even mundane activities, such as washing dishes or brushing our teeth can become opportunities for practicing mindfulness. He writes, Washing the dishes can be a sacred act if we wash the dishes in mindfulness. By bringing our full attention to each task, we can transform these seemingly ordinary activities into moments of presence and awareness. When we eat, we can savor each bite, paying attention to the flavors, textures, and aromas of the food. When we walk, we can feel the ground beneath our feet and notice the sights and sounds around us. By approaching our daily lives with this kind of mindfulness, we can find joy and peace in the simplest of things. Gratitude is another key theme in Peace's Every Step. It is a powerful practice that can transform our lives in profound ways. Thich Nhat Hanh emphasizes the importance of appreciating the good things in our lives, no matter how small they may seem. 
He encourages us to find joy in the simple, everyday moments that often go unnoticed. He writes, there is a flower for every bee to suck and honey from. This metaphor reminds us that there is always something to be grateful for, even in the most ordinary of circumstances. By cultivating gratitude, we can shift our focus from what we lack to what we already have, fostering a sense of contentment and well-being. This shift in perspective can lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. We can practice gratitude by taking a few moments each day to reflect on the things we are grateful for. This can be done through journaling, meditation, or simply taking a quiet moment to appreciate our surroundings. These could be simple things such as a warm bed to sleep in, a delicious meal, or the love and support of our loved ones. Even the smallest acts of kindness and beauty can be sources of immense gratitude. By focusing on the positive aspects of our lives, we can cultivate a more joyful and appreciative outlook. This practice not only enhances our own well-being, but also has a ripple effect, spreading positivity and gratitude to those around us. Compassion is an essential aspect of mindfulness, and Han dedicates a significant portion of Peace is Every Step to exploring this theme. He writes, Compassion is a verb, not a noun. It means to perceive and reduce suffering in oneself and in others. By developing compassion for ourselves and others, we can cultivate a more peaceful and harmonious world. Han encourages us to practice loving-kindness meditation, a practice that involves sending well wishes to ourselves and others. This practice can help us to develop greater empathy, forgiveness, and understanding, both for ourselves and for the people around us. Walking meditation is a central practice in Peace's Every Step. Han describes it as walking as if you are kissing the earth with your feet. This practice involves walking slowly and mindfully, paying attention to each step and the sensations in our bodies. By focusing on the physical sensations of walking, we can calm our minds and connect with the present moment. This practice can be done indoors or outdoors, and it can be easily integrated into our daily routines. Life inevitably brings challenges and peace is every step offers guidance on how to navigate difficult emotions and situations with mindfulness. Han writes, when the crowded Vietnamese refugee boats met with storms or pirates, if everyone panicked, all would be lost. But if even one person on the boat remained calm and quiet, it was enough. It showed the way for everyone to survive. When we encounter difficulties, mindfulness can help us to respond with greater wisdom and compassion. Instead of reacting impulsively, we can pause, take a breath, and observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. This allows us to make more skillful choices and find greater peace amidst life's storms. Peace is Every Step offers a profound yet accessible guide to cultivating mindfulness in our daily lives. By practicing the principles outlined in the book, we can learn to find peace within ourselves, transform our relationships with others, and create a more peaceful and compassionate world. As Han reminds us, peace is every step. It is available right here and now. How can you integrate the principles of mindfulness into your own life to experience greater peace and fulfillment? Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraged us to create more summaries. Any comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.